Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're noticing a white screen after logging into Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is tap Control alt delete on your keyboard, and then select Task Manager, select the File tab, and then select Run New Task, type in Explorer, and check mark where it says create this task with administrator privileges and then select OK. And then hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. If you're still having an issue, something else you can go ahead and try here would be to select file and then run new task. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Check mark where it says create this task with administrator privileges and then select OK. Double click on the H key local machine folder. Do the same thing now for software, same thing for Microsoft, Windows NT, so go down to Windows NT like I said, double click on it, there should be a current version folder in here, double click on that one as well, and then there should be a win logon folder, just left click on that one time. On the right side look for a shell value right here and double click on it. Make sure value is set to explorer.exe, again exactly how it appears on my screen, so explorer.exe, if you don't see this in here, if you don't see this value at all in here, you may have to right click new and then string value, but since it's already in here you don't have to do that, and if for some reason it doesn't say explorer.exe, instead you would just change it in the value data field, so again if the string value is in here, you have to create it and or if the string value is incorrect value data, you just would change it to what you see on my screen here. So again, pretty straightforward process. You would restart your computer once that change is done. And once you restart your system, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.